I'd really like to take this opportunity to welcome you to an afternoon of serious business and wild ideas. Uh, my involvement with environmental challenges, it dates back to the 80s when one day I was in my office and Percy Barnevik, who then was CEO of ABB, he charged into my office, he's a very high energy person, and he said, um, you have to participate in an initiative called the Business Council of Sustainable Development. And I said, why? Um, and what's that? This was a long time ago, this was in the 80s. And he said, uh, our task is to feed the business uh, perspective into the Rio agenda. But who are we, I said. And he said, there are 40 executives from around the world and uh, we have this task. So we met the first time and we were sitting around uh, a room, 40 executives, huge companies. Ours was very, very small compared to them. Looking at each other, totally confused, totally uninformed, very used to taking big decisions. There were assistants along the walls, around the room, but we had absolutely no idea what we were supposed to do. And this is actually only a little over 20 years ago, so very much has happened since then. Uh, the outpuk was a book, uh, and that book was fed into the Rio conference. But before that, we had an incredible process, a process of business people learning what sustainable development and environmental issues were. So I brought back all this enthusiasm to our companies, and I remember uh, a meeting like this with all our executives, probably 18, uh, 1988 or so, and I started talking very enthusiastically about environmental issues, and all I met was were blank faces, not a reaction. And I can imagine that they were all sitting there and thinking, oh my God, here she comes with some idea. It's expensive, it's unnecessary, some authority should take care of, the, care of it or the Swedish government or whatever, but not us. We are business people. So we had to work hard. We worked hard on going from sounds to things in our businesses and forming good companies. And uh, then I had a birthday um, in 1993. And of course in Sweden, for those of you who are not Swedish, you don't understand the tremendous importance of birthdays. Uh, but we formed uh, this foundation which now is co-hosting this afternoon. Um, and its aim is to further and spread scientific research in sustainable development, especially within trade, retailing, wholesaling. Our methods have been to bring together the best minds and the most imaginative people within science and within the practical world of businessmen or writers or farmers or journalists. Sweden is a wonderful country of consensus, uh, but the landscape of the foundation has been to seek opposition and to try to seek debate. The humanities and science need each other to grow. Uh, I found myself once trying to convince someone of the greatness of a wonderful new organizational model I was thinking about for one of our businesses. And I found myself explaining again and again the organization of an ant colony. So um, I then realized this was probably my first attempt at biomimicry. So there they are, all around us, nature's good examples and superb greatness showing us the way, biomime. And this forum, I'm certain, will inspire us across the disciplines to be driven by curiosity to try new tracks of product development, innovation, or process development. Because it is curiosity that is the driving force, I think, of everyone here today. Many years ago, I was a trustee of an organization called the Carnegie Institution of Washington, which is an institution for basic research. And uh, in my business-like way, I had a conversation with one of the plant biologists there, and I said, tell me, what is your goal? What, what are you going to be doing in 10 years? And he just stared at me, and he said, you don't understand, he said. 
we muddle along and things evolve. And the only key I have in my life in everything I do is an open mind and curiosity. So to become successful within sustainable development in the activities of our foundation and our businesses, we've adopted a formula of the five E's. Ecology, aesthetics, ethics, economics, and empathy. We call them the E5. And it really works well for a sustainable businessman, for a scientist, for an artist, I hope it will work for us today as a guideline as we attempt to approach new avenues of thought, of processes, products, and the building of businesses. So a very warm welcome to what I hope will be a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.